YouTube, it's Matt Wick here. Uh, today I'm gonna make a quick video about the installation of Snow Leopard. I know it came out a while ago, but before that, um, I wanna give a big shout out to um, Talentman24 because he's the one who made this awesome wallpaper. I really like it. Uh, I totally missed out to give him a shout out in previous videos, so definitely go and check him out. Link will be in the description to the right, uh, as usual. So thanks again, and sorry for the late thing. So I'll uh, do the um, installation video about uh, the snow leopard one so uh... i know it came out a while back so uh... that's why i waited because uh... to have a new update coming out 10.6.1 uh... for all the bug, fix bug fixes and there were also a lot of applications which were not compatible with snow leopard so that's why I also i waited for that for a while uh... so that would work so i'm also going to make a quick unboxing but i know most of you guys already know what's in here so i don't need to make it like just a quick unboxing. So uh, I'm gonna put a little some, some light here. So there you go. Hope you can see that. Like that. Okay. So uh, on front you got the snow leopard, obviously Mac OS snow leopard, uh, Mac OS 10. And uh, on the back you got all the cool features and new features which come out. Uh, so uh, open CL 64 bit, open GL, and some new um, rewriting of some software. So uh, I'm gonna just gonna open this up. Then inside there, there's an other box which says "Designed in California." And then if I slip that out, I think I have everything. Yeah. Then you basically get in order. Normally you get the CD, which is Mac OS Snow Leopard. Obviously, I've got the family pack for five Macs. Uh, then you get the the installation thing, and as well, all the new features are on here. So, oops. So you get the snow leopard, and then you get all the features, and also at the other side, all the new stuff there. So you can also check that out on their website. They got uh, all the new features as well. So uh, yeah, I'll put the link to that in the description. And you also get two more things. This is a thing. If you have a problem installation, you have to call like certain numbers, and of course the stickers. Uh, as usual, so the Apple stickers, so that's quite cool. So right now, uh, I'm just making a, a copy of my hard drive to be sure uh, it's almost done. So I'll be back, and then we'll start the installation. So there we go for the installation. Uh, I made sure all my app, oops, all my applications are off, as you can see. I only got ScreenFlow running right now, so I'm just gonna pop in the CD here. So the installation should be quite easy. Uh, especially if you already got Leopard, uh, shouldn't be any has or something. So uh, just pop in the CD and a window should pop up automatically after a few seconds. This is actually the third time I'm recording this, so uh, that's why I already know what's going to happen. So there it goes, it's going to load up. And then you have install Mac OS X, optional installs and the extractions if you need those, not really need it. Optional in, in, uh, installs are the SDKs like Xcode and uh, uh, something else, dash code I think as well. Uh, so um, I'm just going to click on install Mac OS X or X, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about the back, uh, background noise, that's the rain. It has been raining all day here. So here I'm just going to click continue. Oh, that's really hard actually, but whatever. Agree. And then I'm going to say where I want to install it on. Uh, probably if you don't have any external hard drive uh, plugged in, it's going to install it. Uh, it's going to just automatically say Macintosh HD. It won't, uh, won't need to select anything. So I'm just going to uh, do Macintosh HD. And then I'm going to do install. And then right here you can put your password. I'm not going to press OK because I'm going to start. I stop the screen recording. So right now, uh, right here, it's going to start after pressing OK. So I'll be back when it's like finished. And normally, you shouldn't do anything. It's going to do all by itself. It's going to take about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, uh, but it shouldn't take that long. So I'll be back and I'll check the time and how long it took me. So as you can see, it's uh, 18:20 or however 6:20 p.m. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll just stop this. So here you go. It's just finished installing. So it's gonna say, "Install succeeded Mac OS 10 installed on your Macintosh HD disk." 
Your computer must restart to complete the installation. The computer will start and is restarting now. So that's just, uh, it will restart automatically. Uh, it took him, uh, how to say, oh, you can see me there. Uh, 49 minutes and 39 seconds, if I'm correct. Well, obviously, it's not that precise, but you can see it's about around 50 minutes. It's just going to restart now and it should, uh, start in uh, Mac OS Leopard. So I'm just making a quick video here with my iPhone. So, yep, the Apple there. Which is a good sign. So I know this part is kind of bad quality, but I I, I didn't like I wasn't really uh, expecting to film this, but I thought why not? So uh, I'm just uh, filming this. All those fingerprints here. Look at that. Whoa, that is dirty, guys. Definitely gonna clean that. Well, whatever. I'll do this when this is finished. I mean, I'll clean it up when it's finished. So why not just continue? Just got a new case for my iPhone as well as you can see. I don't know if you can see that quite well. It's a capsule, uh, I mean Rebel Serpent. Kind of limited edition they say. It's quite good. But maybe I'm going to make a case review. It's a while I didn't make a case review. So as you can see here we've got the wallpaper of the actual Snow Leopard. And uh, now I just got a login here. So let me just put in my password. I'm kind of typing with one hand here. So I'll do my best. So there you go. And now the only thing I'm uh only thing I'm worried of is does it uh has erased everything of my MacBook or not? Well the wallpaper is at least still there. And let's check if everything is there without having any trouble so I'll go back to my screen right now I'm just gonna stop this because it's getting quite long so I'll be back so what's up YouTube uh, just back here uh, quick so uh, basically just finished I had a little welcome video it was exactly the same video as Mac OS Leopard uh, if you haven't seen that video you can just check it out on YouTube and then it says thank you uh, back up your computer, browser files and cover flow, email with style, chat using effect and backdrops, organize your work and spaces. Uh, these are kind of the major updates we can say. So I'm really happy I've got all my apps though it is a little bit messy because here I do have the new icons but here I got the uh, default icons. Uh, my dock is though back to gray and I've got a few uh, question marks here but that's normal uh, and I've got yeah the, the standard dock here so I'll just check if what I'm gonna do right now is open all my applications and quit them one by one and check if they all work so uh, it worked great and now what I'm really it's gonna automatically check for updates what, what I'm really interested in is getting the info, info here my Macintosh HD you see there's 32 gig uh, point 45 or 44 available which is quite amazing cuz I had 18.2 uh, as I showed you in the beginning of the video so uh, that is a quite big improvement and I'm quite happy about that it saves a lot of disk space and uh, yeah that's great so yeah thanks for watching uh, well I hope it all worked out for you and really sucks if you lose everything there's a possibility that happens but that means that something is not correct uh, on your hard drive before the installation so it shouldn't happen to you so um, yeah thanks for watching please leave comment rate subscribe if you haven't already and yeah peace